Christmas time, everyone. I'm Carol, and this is my favorite Christmas mug. And this is my favorite Christmas mug. But this is my favorite Christmas mug. I love Christmas mugs because I love Christmas. <laughs> Christmas. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. It's almost Christmas time. If you like my Christmas mugs, you should see my Christmas tree. Ta-da. I actually have two trees. My other one is Christmassy in a different way. Come on. This is Jesus' family tree. When we celebrate Christmas, we're celebrating the birth of Jesus. Jesus is God's son, but he also had an earthly family. Why? Well, humans disobeyed God, but God had a plan to heal his relationship with them. He would bless the whole world through this special family, Jesus' family. This started with Abraham and his wife, Sarah. This ornament represents them. They had a son named Isaac, and he had many children and grandchildren, and their family grew into a whole nation called Israel. This ornament is all about one of Jesus' family members who lived many years after Abraham and Sarah. Her name was Ruth. Ruth was a Moabite. She didn't live in Israel with Israelites. Moabites lived in Moab and chose to worship many gods instead of the one and only God. At this point, things weren't great in Israel. It was also a great famine. That means there wasn't enough food to eat. I'm very thankful that I have enough food to eat. I'm especially thankful for Christmas cookies. Because of the famine in Israel, a woman named Naomi went with her husband and two sons to Moab. They were there for many years and one of her sons married Ruth. The other married a woman named Orpah. Sadly, all three men died leaving only Ruth and Orpah with Naomi. When Israel's famine was over, Naomi decided to go back to her home. Mmm, so good. Mmm, <laughs> like, a, like a crunchy cloud of Christmas wishes. Naomi told Ruth and Orpah they should stay in Moab and find new husbands. Orpah did just that, but Ruth refused to leave Naomi. She told her, where you go, I'll go. Where you stay, I'll stay. Your people will be my people and your God will be my God. Naomi and Ruth went together like cookies and eggnog. <laughs> and God honored Ruth's faithfulness. Hmm, just right. In Israel, Ruth worked in a field picking up grain so she and Naomi could make food. The field was owned by a man named Boaz, who was related to Naomi's husband who had died. When Boaz heard about how Ruth had stayed with Naomi, he was impressed. So impressed, he married her. This meant he took Naomi into his family too. Boaz and Ruth had a son named Obed, and Naomi helped take care of him. And Obed became the grandfather of Israel's greatest king, King David. But that's a different ornament. Ruth made the hard choice to leave Moab behind and take care of Naomi. God honored her faithfulness by taking care of both of them. He even gave Ruth a new home and a son. And because of her faithfulness, she got to be a relative of God's son, Jesus. God honors faithfulness. Uh-oh, I'm out of cookies, but I still have eggnog. <laughs> Guess I'd better bake some more. Speaking of more, there are way more ornaments to put on Jesus' family tree, so you should definitely come back. Bye!